Now in this very first app you're going to create, I'm going to lay down the fundamental tools that you are going to use over and over again when you develop apps. It doesn't matter what they are, these are the fundamentals coming up. So that's why I've labeled it some stuff that's quite important. And that stuff is, firstly, storyboards, how we lay out the graphical parts of our app. Graphical elements, how we put graphical things like buttons or labels, text areas, image viewers inside of our app. How we connect those graphical elements to our code because they have to talk to each other. Then we'll look at the classic button click. How do we handle it when someone taps a button on the screen? And finally, we're going to look at constraints, which is a fancy word and it simply means making sure that our UI looks the same on all kinds of different sizes of screen. It's really easy to do inside of Xcode. Then I'm going to give you a little homework. It's just like being back at school, but I promise you're actually going to enjoy this homework. One, because it's fun, and two, because it's really short. Finally, I'm going to give you the solution to that homework. And that's my solution. It's not the only solution. If you have a better one, then I'd love for you to post it for other students to see. So what are we going to make in this? Because I don't just want to give you a bunch of lectures. I want you to actually make something that could be useful. We're going to make an astronomy screen torch. And what is that you say? Well, when I was growing up, I did a little bit of astronomy. And in order to read your chart of stars or maps, because then we didn't have devices to look at, we had things called books and paper. I know that might be a foreign concept to a lot of people these days. In order to read those, we needed light. But when you're looking at stars at night, your eyes become dark adapted. And if you shine a normal white light into them, they become light adapted which means you can no longer see the stars as easily. So we had to cover all of our torches with red see-through perspex or any kind of plastic in order to shift the light to the red side of the spectrum so it wouldn't ruin our night vision. And we're going to make a digital version of that. We're going to have the screen of our device on, but have it emit a red light instead of a regular white light. So that's why this is called an astronomy screen torch. We're also, in the homework section, going to set it up so we can have a blue light if we wish. And that is all going to be controlled by a simple button toggle in the following way. Here I have it running on a simulator, and when I click a button, it toggles between blue and red. So you have an astronomy torch or a daytime torch. or a police car coming to get you. Either way, you're about to learn how to achieve all of this.